Good morning, welcome back to camp. Just out clearing some trees off the fence line at the moment. And this is typical classic scrub wattle. It's very heavy. And it's uh, timber. But that's what it does. It never grows straight. Swinging around near the fence line here, and there's a top wire down. And uh, we've gone around the back of that wattle there, but you can see that heavy wood, heavy wood up high, and uh, the tree's leaning over in that direction. There's no balance to that tree at all. So I'm in the fifth pasture, and uh, well, this tree here—it's not a scrub wattle. It uh, comes from that big tree there, and up the top there, you can see the stags up there. Yeah, as I said, it's not a scrub wattle, but it has got rot in the base over there. Not even sure whether it's part of that tree over there that's going straight up or just out of control. But this is the end result. It brings the fences down and then I've got a huge clean-up job. So, in all this wet weather, we've got three areas like this. I've done one, and there's one over the, the east side. And uh, I've got to chop this up now and get rid of it, and then repair the fence. And love the rain. We've got some beautiful trees growing in the forest here because of this rain. But this work. It's hard for me. It uh, knocks me up really quickly. That one there is not a scrub wattle. That's a forest, a forest tree of some sort. You can tell by the way it's growing. And uh, others over there, gum trees. Gum trees are solid. They grow straight up, and uh, they generally don't want to fall over at the drop of a hat. Uh, right next door here we have a another scrub wattle which has got severe dieback in it. A um, little bit of green on the end of its stores, branches there. It's leading in this direction so one day I'll come up here and it'll be over the fence again. So, anyway, thanks for coming along in this short video and I'll have to get going now and, and uh, Clear this fence line, repair the fence, and wait for the next one to fall down. Okay, so I'm back. Um, the fence has been repaired. I had to put in two winches on my top two wires, and the area has been totally cleaned up. Um, that's the rubble. 10 years that won't be there. And I like to use these these winches. Just put a shifter on them. I've got a ratchet on them. Um, sometimes I'll use the three mil wire and uh, it's easier on the drum. You can also use the barbed wire as long as you don't spill as much on there. So that'll keep the cattle in now. And uh, I cleaned up the branches of this old wattle here. And I can now get the tractor up through here. Let's 
shows you the size of that branch there and the angle of that damn thing and yep I'll come up here one day and all that wood is hanging up there over the quad bike at the moment so this is all clear now I'll bring the slasher up and run it through here and knock these weeds down and uh, after the rain I'll start doing a spraying program on the lantana on that wild scrub there that's a lantana bush that's how it re-sprouts out of the ground just like that and you can see it all through here this whole area was like that actually the whole area was like that tobacco bush there lantana that just absolutely smothers under the trees and then we have another waddle there with a creeper growing up it nice creeper purple flowers it's probably in everybody's garden down in Brisbane and then you have a it's completely dead that tree so I'll come up here one day and that'll be laying down here across the pasture. Anyway, thanks for coming along, guys. And uh, this is just a short video. I'll uh, finish up now and we've only got one, one more tree across the fence in this fifth pasture, which I'll do tomorrow. And uh, then I can put the cattle back in here. Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like, ring the bell for notifications. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.